So we've made a lot of progress thus far. So I want to go ahead and review what we've talked about. So I'm titling this plugin review, since we've pretty much covered the first half of the lecture materials in this course by covering the plugin principle. So let's go back to our example. So we were interested in a population. So for example, a school of individuals or the US population. And we were interested in a function of this population, which we can call f. Uh, an example of a function of this population might be the mean IQ. Okay, I use this example because it's easy to write. Uh, and we're looking to find the value of this mean IQ for the entire population. Now this is pretty hard. The problem with finding the entire mean IQ or the mean IQ for the entire population is that we need to sample, we need to survey every single individual in the entire population. So we came up with a good intuitive response to this. What if instead we sampled the population, so we had a small population, we surveyed them, and then we applied the exact same function, so e.g. the mean IQ, to go ahead and estimate what this parameter was. Would this work? So our intuition was correct, which is a really nice thing, but we needed to make two assumptions that were pretty crucial here. Assumption number one was that we got a random sample. Got a random sample. Now, this assumption is not 100% necessary, though it makes our life considerably easier if we do assume it's a random sample. And that being said, if you can go ahead and get a random sample, please do. The second assumption that we made, and this was to bring this estimate close to this guy, was the plug-in principle estimate. And this was basically saying that this guy, theta hat, the mean IQ of our sample was going to be incredibly close to the population, or at least the best estimated of the population's mean IQ as we could get. This assumption requires that we have a random sample in the first place. It also requires one more thing, if we remember. It requires n to be pretty big. So, so these are the two assumptions that we've covered thus far. It allows us to make a good claim. That is, the best bet, the best estimator we have for the population's mean IQ, for some function of the population, is by taking a random sample of that population, taking the function of it, and then applying the plug-in principle in order to say that, hey, this estimate must be pretty close to the real one. Again, I want to really stress this because you don't necessarily need a random sample. There are different types of samples that you can use, and you don't necessarily need to use the plug-in principle. I've used both of these because they're the most practical as well as the most general applications of this they won't get too deep into the theory. So I hope this was a good review. If you've got any questions, please leave it in the comments, and we're going to be working on bootstrapping next.